Hi, my name is Matthew Jester. Just making a quick video here regarding some petitions that I designed that are going to be referencing hypnosis and public safety. So sorry my memory was being repressed with the hypnosis, by the hypnosis, um, when I was trying to say that for a moment. And then uh, my cognition is being inhibited. I'm sure you can already see it in some of my facial expressions. And I have a certificate of completion here to show that I'm competent in the field of hypnosis from Mike Mandela Hypnosis Academy. Please watch my video, Hypnosis Abuse and Speech Inhibition. I will leave a link in the description. I'll also leave additional links in the description of other relevant videos. I've been abused with hypnosis and my ability to speak is being inhibited with hypnosis, which is why I have to read everything when I make videos. If you notice me stuttering, speaking slowly, being unable to speak, unable to speak clearly, or any other difficulty speaking, I explain how this is being done to me in my video, Hypnosis Abuse and Speech Inhibition. These issues speaking have been consistently occurring within the first three minutes of my videos. <clears throat> Um, in every single video, I will also be raising my left finger, index finger, whenever the hypnosis is inhibiting my ability to speak, so that I can point out the hypnosis is inhibiting my ability to speak without interrupting myself in videos. So please pay attention to my body language when I raise my finger, because you're most likely going to be able to notice the hypnosis. Try not to fixate your attention on my finger during the video, and focus your attention on my body language and facial expressions. Hypnosis has been neglected to be acknowledged by our legal system to the extent that it is posing a significant danger and risk to public safety after being abused with hypnosis, witnessing a murder, being threatened for talking about the murder, being hypnotized and inhibited my ability to testify about the murder, and after surviving manslaughter from being hypnotized and not drink water unless I would notice, unless someone else would notice, or unless they would get caught for it. And when I attempted to go to the police, I was told that my victim and witness testimony would not be admissible in court because I was hypnotized and misinformation in Myths about hypnosis are extremely dangerous, resulting in an extremely dangerous and distorted public misunderstanding about what hypnosis even is and what hypnosis can or cannot do. And in, or, in order to ensure public safety, I've, I designed a basic outline for some petitions which address the issues with hypnosis and risk to public safety regarding hypnosis that need to be acknowledged. I will go over these now. I notice that's the specific portion of my video here that I experience um, profound or abnormal or... Um, sorry... Um, that I experience more like strained speaking than any other portion of the video. Sorry about that. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, get started. I mean, I'll just go over the points real quick. So make involuntary use of direct, 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 wow. Make involuntary use of direct hypnosis, third, a third degree felony. No one is going to have good intentions for the individual if they are hypnotized involuntarily. Make abuse of direct hypnosis a secondary felony. Make involuntary hypnotic seals a secondary felony. Allow admission of victim and witness testimony at the, after the influence of hypnosis in the court of law. Acceptance and admission of claims that hypnosis was used to elicit false confessions, induce amnesia, amnesia, um, create false memories, inhibit ability to testify or present evidence in the court of law, inhibit ability to counsel and communicate with attorney and other illicit methods in hypnosis that could potentially be used to interfere with the court, court processes and obstruct justice. Anyways, thanks for watching that video.